Welcome to Converse English. This video will look at giving a Level 3 Stanag decision briefing. So, to begin with, let's look at the constituent parts. A Level 3 briefing lasts between 3 and 4 minutes and is followed by 1 to 2 minutes of questions from your partner. During the briefing, you have to present two options to solve a potential problem. You then have to give your recommendation as to which is the best option. You should try and give at least one advantage and one disadvantage for each option. However, giving two advantages or disadvantages is obviously a benefit. The examiner will not only grade you on your vocabulary and grammar, but also on the structure of your briefing so you must provide smooth transitions. Let's have a look at the briefing prompt. As you can see, there is a general introduction providing a scenario. Below are the options that you need to talk about. In this example, there is a third option, other. However, this is not always present. This allows you to choose another option if you're not sure about one of the two given. OK, so now we know what a briefing consists of. Let's have a look at an example following the scenario on the screen. Good morning, sir. Following the recent um, cyber attack on our computer systems, you asked me to look into various methods of securing our systems, and I've come up with two possibilities. The first one is to employ um, an outside computer specialist, and the second is to limit access to our computer systems from the external internet. Firstly then, the IT specialist. The main advantage of this is that it will give us constant support, not only in hacking and virus-related activities, but also general computer issues, which I'm sure will benefit the work of the unit and the um, soldiers will, will be very um, grateful. However, obviously, um, the main disadvantage of this is the cost. It's going to mean um, sub significant costs for the unit. And in terms of the employment, possibly we will have to have a tender. I'm not sure. I will, I will check with um, HR about this. Um, also, there is the security issue. External civilian access to our systems. Therefore, um, we will have to do security checks. And although not an impossible task, this will obviously prolong the, um, the recruitment process. As far as the, the second point goes, then, removing access to the internet from various um, computers around our unit. This is simple to do. This is obviously the main advantage. We can just pull the plug, literally. Um, we can put in some sort of internal LAN so that um, computers um, between subunits um, can, can still be in um, communication. And I think for many aspects, this will, this will be more than enough. However, um, there are certain things that the, the internet is vital for and internal um, issues are not the only thing that computers are used for. So I feel that this will actually, unfortunately, degrade the work of our unit. Also, another major drawback is the motivational side. I'm, I am sure the soldiers will feel as if they are being nannied, being looked after in some way, and they will not be able to you know, do normal activities. Summarizing then, um, the main advantage obviously of hiring um, the computer um, specialist is that he would be on site and we would have access to him non-stop. The main advantage to um, restricting access is it's easy, we can do it straight away. However, um, as I mentioned, this would have serious drawbacks on our capability and I feel that Finding the money and the resources to employ a computer specialist is the, the best option, and that is uh, what I recommend. Do you have any questions? Hopefully that's given you a good idea of how to do a Level 3 briefing. Don't forget to stay tuned with Converse English for more information on exams and English technique.